Barakatai Yahoah, Barakatai Yahoah Shai, Bahashem, Rekha, Kwadas. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us the truth. Uh, blessings and safety to the men, women, and children that believe on the name Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and truth and sincerity to USA Shalom. All right. And this love spirit. Is about to vanish, man. You know, this 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 love spirit that's being pushed around is about to vanish, you know. You know that that's my best friend, that's my best friend, that's my best friend. That spirit out the window. Okay? You know, for these parents, I love my children. You know, so I'm going to do whatever I got to do to make sure that they eat, even if I don't, even if I don't eat, man. As long as my kids eat, that spirit going to be out the window. You know, you helping, you know, your, your neighbor up the stairs because she elderly. You know, you carry her groceries to the door. That spirit going to be out the window. Right? You feeding the homeless. Are you okay? Are you hungry? Have you eaten today? That spirit going out the window, man. All right? This love spirit is about to vanish, man. You know, because the times that we are entering, the times we are entering, okay, we're entering some perilous times, man. All right? We're entering some perilous times, okay? And guess what? That's going to cause that love spirit to vanish. It's going to be every man for themselves, man. You know, the husband is not going to worry about the wife, man. The wife is not going to worry about the husband. Okay? You may have some families who go out like that, man. But a mass majority of people, they're going to turn into, it's all about me, you know? It's not about you. It's the, hey, hey, I, the prime example, you know, a few years back. You know, it was a happily married couple, man. They got stuck in the elevator for, I believe, 72 to 96 hours, man. Three to four days, man. Okay? And once they got that couple out who had been married for all these years, I believe it happened in Philly, right? You know, all they could see was the skeleton of the wife because the husband ate her, right? But they were a happily married couple for, for decades, right? But soon as hardship came... You know, the husband said, you know what? It wasn't, oh, we're going to death to us. We're going to die together, honey. No, he ate her, man. That love spirit is about to vanish, man. This is Matthew 24. Matthew 24. Matthew 24. And verse 12, it says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, man. Okay, now when you go into this word cold, right? It says because iniquity shall abound, which iniquity is sin upon sin, right? W wickedness, right? It's going to abound, right? It says the love of many shall wax cold. Now when you go into this word cold, right? It says lacking affection or warmer, warmer, warmer feeling, unemotional. People are going to become unemotional very, very soon. People are going to be unemotional right another word for unemotional is heartless unfriendly inhospitable right unsympathetic all right it says um unemotional dispassionate passionless cold-blooded cold-hearted right standoffish right that's the spirit that is about to cover America, okay? And a lot of other places as well, right? So Matthew 24 and 12, it says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So get ready. That's my best friend. That's my best friend, right? So what you gonna do when it ain't no food out here, right? Is that gonna still be your best friend? When both of y'all got a family to feed, 
But there's only enough food to feed one of y'all families. Right? What's going to happen then? Is that still going to be your, your, your day one? This is 2nd Ezra 6. And 22. And suddenly shall the unsown places appear unsown. Right? And that's going into the, you know, the different crops, the farmland, right? Because, hey, man, this, this guy killed Gates. Remember, he just bought 269,000 acres of farmland in America, right? You know? Hey, the Lord is sending all type of storms, you know, destroying crops, man. Okay? It says, And suddenly the sown places shall appear unsown, the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty, man. See, food is plentiful now, man. You got grocery stores everywhere, man. You got damn fast food restaurants everywhere, man. Right? Food is plentiful. You got damn gas stations selling gyros and corned beef and Philly cheesesteak sandwiches and shit, man. Food is plentiful, right? But what are you going to do when these trucks stop running, man? What you going to do when these trains stop running, man? What you going to do when these ships stop running, man? What you going to do? What are you going to do? All right, when that local uh, grocery store at the end of your corner, it only holds three days worth of food. What are you going to do when people start to go in these supermarkets and, and, and steal food? Right? What are you going to do when you got some uh, 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 rich person going into these stores, buying up everything for, the, for themselves and their family? Right? What are you going to do then? When, you, you, it, when, 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 um, when, you know, your food stamps don't load until the 10th, okay? But, hey, man, on the, on the, on the, on the third, you know, people hit these stores and, and, and it's still everything, man. What, 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 what is going to be left for you, man? Right? What are you going to do? Okay? It's going to be every man for themselves then, right? Second Ezra 6 and 23, and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. And at that time shall France fight another, Shalakia. Second Ezra 6 and 24, and that at that time shall France fight one another like enemies. Right? It says, in that time shall friends fight one another like enemies, man. So what? And that love spirit is gone. Little tribulations start to happen, and it's going to drive that love away, man. That's why the scripture is going to how you're, you're supposed to prove a friend first, man. You know, here in America, you, you smoke a blunt with someone, they become your friend. You know, you be at a bar, you know, a person might buy you a drink. And this, is your, this is your best friend now, you know? All this fake love, man. That's what it is for real. It's fake love, man. Because the lady, hey, uh, how you know it's fake love is because soon some tribulations start to happen, man. That love is going to vanish like that, man. Okay? But it says, uh, 24, and at that time shall friends fight at one another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. Okay? Because it's going to be all hell, man. All hell going to be breaking loose, man. Okay? All hell is going to be breaking loose out here, man. And on top of that, man, you're going to have wild beasts roaming the streets, man. And on top of that, people, pets ain't going to eat, right? It ain't going to be nobody feeding the little pit bull up the street, man. That pit bull going to be loose. You people, a lot of you people are going to become food, man. A lot of you kids out there are going to become food, man. The scripture's going to how uh, 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 the, the, the mother shall eat their, the, eat their children, man. What happened to that love, right? What happened to that love? You know, this is Leviticus 26 and 29. It says, and ye shall eat the flesh of your sons and the flesh of your daughters shall ye eat. Hold on, that's cannibalism. But what happened to that love, right? Remember, you loved your kids, right? You will watch yourself struggle for your kids to be good, right? That spirit gonna go out the door, man. 
Again, Leviticus 26 and 29. And ye shall eat the flesh of your sons and the flesh of your daughters shall you eat. Some of you people out there today, man. Okay. In the near future, you're going to find yourself putting your kids on the grill, man. To satisfy your flesh, right? A lot of you know that, well, that wouldn't be me. I couldn't do it. Okay. <laughs> Lord willing, you don't do it, man. Right? Because once those spirits jump on you, man, they're going to have their way with you people, man. Right? But I got another quick precept. In the, I'm going to go to... Uh, I'm going to go to Second Edges, the 15th chapter, man. Because this chapter is about to come to pass, man. Second Edges, 15. And uh, I'm going to start at 14. It says, woe um, it says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Right? It says, for the sword and their destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another. And swords in their hands, right? Which the modern day sword is a gun, man. Right? It says, For there, there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power, man. It's not, no, no one is going to regard the law, man. You know? No one is going to regard any mandates, right? No, Joe Biden get on the, uh, the news. Everyone is to be in the house by 7 o'clock. Nobody is going to regard that, man. No one is going to care about the, the It's going to be lawlessness, man. Okay? It's going to be lawlessness, right? And Esau wants that. Esau wants that. So what? Create chaos, create a problem, reaction, solution. Okay? Esau, so he wants this, right? So it's going to be lawlessness, man. No one is going to care that... A uh, uh, murder carries a sentence of 40 years or to life. No one is going to regard that, right? It says, a, a, a guess what? It says the course of their actions shall stand in their power, which means people are going to take matters into their own hand. It's not going to be any 911 you can call, man. See, that's what these women love to do. They like to get on the phone and dial them three, them three, them three numbers, man. Those three numbers are not going to work, man. Right? It says, and a man shall the desire to go into a city and shall not be able. People are going to be on the move. You know how, you know, every major city has its suburbs and they're, they're going to have cutoff points, man. It's going to be set up. It's going to be set up to where you ain't going to be able to leave certain places. You're going to have cars uh, uh, blocking freeways, you know, uh, everybody trying to hit the freeway at one time and traffic going to be backed up this way. Traffic going to be backed up that way. You're going to have families trying to get in the car and Head to the nearest city with the other family. Everybody gonna be stuck where they at, man. And that's gonna call people. That's gonna cause people to get in survivor mode, right? It says, and for the and, and because of pride, the city shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and man shall be afraid, man. Right? And it says, and the man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. So ain't gonna be no pity uh, uh, shown in this in this day, man. Right? Let's go into this word pity. It says the feeling of sorrow and compassion caused by the suffering and the misfortunes of others. There ain't gonna be no pity in that day, man. You ain't gonna see some lady on the ground, you know, just laying there, and, and here it is, you try and get to uh from point A to point B, and you're gonna stop and give her no man. It's not going to be any pity shown. Once again, it says the feeling of sorrow and compassion, right? Caused by the suffering and misfortune of others. You're not going to give a damn if a person ate in that day. It says a man should have no pity upon his neighbor, right? You look out the window, you see some lady that lives in your building. She might be struggling with her groceries. Here it is. You dun, 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 dun. You go down there, carry every bag up on the shoulders for him. And oh, man. Because guess what? You're going to hit it right over the head. Come here. That same lady who you to help with those groceries, you're going to knock right at her door. Do, 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 do. Hey, how you doing? I was wondering, did you have any? Go right upside her head, man. Right? It says, um, it says, and a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses 
with the sword and spoil their goods, man. You know? You know, people going to be coming right up into your house, man. What they call it? Home invasion, right? Home invasion. It's going to be a lot of home invasions, right? And in, 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 in ghetto terms, uh, uh, kick doors, right? Kick doors, right? Okay, it says uh, home invasion. <clears throat> it says, what's this word? Home invasion. It says the crime of entering a dwelling and committing or with intent to commit a crime while armed and while another is lawfully present. <clears throat> Yeah, that's a, it's going to be a lot of that going on, right? It says, um, I'm going to read this back. Second Edges 15 and 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. Hey, you know, they ain't coming in the house for the safe. See, right now, you know, someone break into your house. They looking for, you know, items like televisions, laptops, you know, uh, uh, games, you know, the safe, you know, jewelry. Okay, in this case, they coming for the damn pantry, man. They want to see them canned goods. They want the bread. They want, they want food, man, right? It says, and the man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation, man. Because of the lack of bread. So that, so that you know, compassion spirit, that love spirit, it's going to vanish due to the lack of bread, man, and for great tribulation. You know? But hey, man, it's about to get real out here. You know? Jeremiah uh, 30 and 7. For it lasts, for that day is great, so that none is like it. <laughs> it is even the time of uh, Jacob's trouble. Matter of fact, let me just let me just close. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just read this. Matthew 24 and um 21. It says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as not since the beginning of the world to this time, no nor ever shall be. Right? So we about to experience some trouble. And you know, but hey man, if you're a part of that elect, man, you're gonna be delivered out of it, man. Lord willing, I'm a part of that number. You know, so, hey, hope this was edifying. I'm going to end giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Shimei, Shah, Shamra, Kakwadash. Till next time, Shalom.